In this video, I'll be preparing cis and trans isomer of diglycinato copper 2 monohydrate. Diglycinato copper 2 monohydrate is prepared by the reaction of copper acetate and aqueous methanol with glycine. Glycine and ion is not symmetric and structure isomers can arise depending on the relative orientation of the ligands. Cis isomer is first formed by dissociative substitution. Glycinato forms 5 member chelate ring as it is a bidentate ligand. Chelating assumes a square planar structure around copper. Cis isomer forms quickly because cis isomer is kinetically flavored and trans isomer is thermodynamically flavored. To prepare the cis complex, first 50 ml of 50% methanol water mixture was prepared by adding 25 ml methanol to 25 ml distilled water. Then to this solution, 2 gram of copper acetate monohydrate was added. Also, 1.5 gram of glycine was weighed and transferred into a beaker. Then it was dissolved in 10 ml of distilled water. The copper acetate solution was heated in a water bath so that all the copper sulfate, copper acetate would dissolve. All the copper acetate dissolved. Both the solutions were mixed under hot conditions. The glycine solution was added slowly in small proportions to the copper acetate solution. You can see that the copper acetate solution has turned deep blue in color. Then it was stirred with a glass rod. As the solution cooled down, the cis complex starts precipitating. The solution was cooled to room temperature. This solution was filtered off. The precipitate was once washed with 10 ml of methanol water mixture and then it was washed with 10 ml of methanol. After washing with methanol, it was air dried. It have to be preserved for the transformation of cis to trans complex. The yield of cis complex comes out to be 1.73 grams, which corresponds to a percentage yield of 75%. For conversion of cis complex to trans complex, we need 1 gram of cis complex and 1.5 gram of glycine. Both were transferred into a 100 ml RB flask. To this we added one third of the filtrate. It was heated on a water bath and it was set on a reflux. It was reflux for one and a half hours. After one and a half hours, you could see the formation of some solid inside the round bottom flask. So once it stopped boiling, it was removed from the water bath and it was filtered of hot. If it is cooled, you, you can also get crystals of cis complex, therefore it has to be filtered of hot. The flask and the precipitate was washed with once with the mother liquid so to transfer all the precipitate inside the funnel. The lustrous blue precipitate was washed with water and second washing was done with methanol and it was air dried. 
the yield of trans isomer was found to be 1.4 gram which corresponds to a total percentage yield of 60 percent thanks for watching if you have any suggestions please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like my work you can support me financially through patreon and paypal links are given in description